Welcome to Gigi's Altered Objects. I've made another Altoid tin, and of course some of these products I did find at the scrapbook convention. Let's start with the top. It's hard to tell from the camera, but this paper is absolutely delightful. It has a rubbery quality to it, and it was so easy to wrap the tin with. This is a craft perfecting item, and it's from the Tonic Studios. Their website is www.tonicstudios.co.uk. And they have several different patterns. I use this one for the outside, the wood grain. And I wanted to share this one with you. As crafters, we know it's so hard to use anything that's glittery or sequins. And this looks like glitter and it looks like sequins, but it bends and folds and manipulates beautifully without all the struggles we have with those. So this is the other pattern I used on the inside. Here's a piece of it out of the packaging. It just looked like perfect material that would be inside of a suitcase or a box. All right, so also I want to share with you my two favorite adhesives that I used on this project. One of them is E6000. I know a lot of us use this. It's um, very permanent and quick to adhere, but also I like to use the three-in-one. It's a little thicker, and sometimes I use both of them together in conjunction with each other so that I don't have to wait so long to move on to the next part. All right, so the outside of the box was covered with the wood grain paper. And then I used some moss from my stash for a little edging and seashells. And there's a brass octopus on the edge. Um, that the, That's from my Wish collection. And the seashells are just seashells that we collect. The skull and crossbones on top, those are Tim Holtz. And the telescope and some of the items inside are from Bead Landings, and this is the company Bead Landings, and I got those at Michael's. So inside the box, I love to do something with a little movement. So here we have um, a piece, of, it looks like a metal heart, a metal tooth, and lungs, and they're hung by some chains that I made. And when it hangs just right, they, they move a little, you can see. And then there's a crystal and an old time hatchet has a better name, but I forgot. <laughs> Here is a bottle. This is a Tim Holtz bottle. And I filled it with some shaker beads. This little bone came from the same company, the Bead Landing. And the tag is a Tim Holtz tag. It says spirits. Then I have some jewels down below, and those were actually left over from a Disney shaker card that I made. Another Tim Holtz bone, and this skull and the rib set, those again are from the Beads Landing. And this lovely set of pearls, that's from a little bit of stash that my friend Deanne Rollins gave me. Thank you, Deanne. Hello. So I promised I was going to make a little spooky altered Altoid box and have a pirate theme. So there it is. I hope you enjoy it. I would love to see some altered boxes that you have made. Please share them with me and happy crafting.